So in this video, I am going to install Windows Server in a PC. So I have the ISO file here, and the size of this file is 5.19 gig. That's the size of the ISO Windows Server. And I'm going to create a bootable USB drive using Rufus. Now you can go to Rufus here and just download the exe file. So I already downloaded Rufus. So I'm going to open Rufus. And the size of the USB drive is 16 gigs. I'll select the Windows Server ISO file. I'll click Start. Click OK. I'm going to get this message. That's fine. I'm going to click OK. So all the data will be wiped out from the USB drive. I'll click OK. And it's creating the USB drive. So this is the specs of the PC that I'm going to install Windows Server 2019. So right now this computer is loaded with Windows 11. It has 16 gigs of RAM. It also has one terabyte SSD drive. So I'm going to wipe out this Windows 11 from this PC and install Windows 2019 Server Standard Edition. So the USB drive was created. It's completed. I'm going to close this. So I booted up the machine into BIOS and under secure boot, there are only two options. There's custom and standard. I'm going to leave it at custom and this is the explanation about custom. So I'm going to leave it as is and I'm going to restart the computer. So the motherboard of the PC is an Asus motherboard. So to get the boot up menu from BIOS, I have to hit the F8 key on the keyboard. So I'm going to select the USB to boot up from. I'm going to hit enter. I'll click next. Install now. So I'm going to select Windows Server 2019 standard desktop experience. Click next. I'll accept the license terms, click next, I'll click on custom install and I'm going to delete all of these partitions. I'll click next and it's installing Windows Server. Yes, so now I get this page where I have to type a password for the administrator. So I type the password, I'm going to click finish. I press Control Alt Delete. I'm going to log in. So right now, it's not connected to the network because it needs drivers. So I have to install the drivers for this motherboard. So I'm going to go to Device Manager and I'm going to see a list of the drivers that are not installed. So I'll right click this PC. Click on Properties, click on Device Manager. So I have to install all these drivers. So this is the ASUS motherboard. This is the model number here. And I'm going to download the drivers for this motherboard. Now click on Support, click Drivers and Manuals, the product type, I'll select Motherboards. The series, Asus Prime, product model, I have to browse for the model, it's a B760, so this is the model number, I'll click on drivers and tools, so they don't have a server listed here, on the others there is nothing, so I downloaded all the drivers for the motherboard in a USB drive. So I'm going to install the drivers. So I'm going to install 
the Ethernet controller drive. I'm going to right click, click update drive, browse, click on browse. And I'm going to browse for the USB drive. I'll select the LAN driver, click OK. So this will search the entire folder. And you can see, so it says installing drivers. Click close and the driver was installed. So all the drivers were installed in this Windows Server 2019. So what I did, I downloaded all the drivers into a USB drive. Then I placed it into the Windows 2019 server. And that's how I installed the drivers. So for this motherboard, I used the Windows 10 drivers. So I downloaded all the drivers that were listed here. So I'm going to check for updates. I'm going to click on updates. Click check for updates. So now this is running all the updates. I'm going to update this 2019 server. So the time is wrong. I'm going to change the time. I am in Eastern time. So now I'm going to configure this Windows 2019 server to be a domain controller. So I want to thank you for watching and I want to thank you for subscribing.